Minor League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. It's the home opener of this new season between the Mississippi Braves and the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Stepping up now, Justin Dean. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Temperature here at game time, 61 degrees. A curveball hit right back at him. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Standing in, Alejandro Salazar. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1-1. One, one. Now a ball lined softly down the left field line, but foul. The 1 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So striding in, Steve Hamilton. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Count is 2 and 1. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Now at the plate, Zane Gerwitz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. And a good throw gets him one gun. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Roberto Baldocchi batting just a notch below 300 so far on the season. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Throw gets him two down. Now at the plate, Bo Way. No one aboard for him and two gone here in the first. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit softly down the line at first. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Second inning set to go, so now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Shea Langoliers, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. Baldokin backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ryan Castile. Ryan. Still looking for our first Castillo. hit in the ball game. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Still a ball and two strikes. The one two. Is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Into the box now. Drew Lugbauer. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now the one and one pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Last half of the second set to go. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Jordan Zimmerman. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Swings through it for strike number two. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Digging in, Brendan Sanger. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Next will be the designated hitter, Connor Justice. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. 
Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Stepping in, Braden Shoemake, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. 1-1. One, one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. 1-2 offering looked like a slider that time, but it's 2-2. Two and two. Now the pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Base hit, and they're into the hit column. Coming to the plate now, Tyler Nesloni, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Tyler Nesloni. 1-1. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. Has a look, now the pitch. Oh. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. He's set. Here's the three and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now with the plate, CJ Alexander. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. The one one home. Two balls, one strike. Back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. Now that the cover field. Justin Dean. Stepping in now, Justin Dean. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Swing line drive. That's going to be trouble. Shoemake rounds the corner and is headed home in at second safely as they jump ahead with a run scoring on now the play. Second base. Alejandro Salazar. Into the box now. Alejandro Salazar. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Now a shot toward the gap in left center. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. He pulls into second safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Standing in now, Steve Hamilton. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Jan will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now that Ready for another chance? Shea Langoliers, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Young is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Now in the box, Kevin Maiton, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The 1-1 one, one home. That's a ball. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. 
I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. Throw to first is in time for the first down. So striding forward now, Edwin Young. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Line drive to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Into the box, Jack Kruger. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Line, but speared on a hop. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Striding forward now is the DH, Ryan Castile. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1-1. One, one. And he fouls this one off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Stepping in, the Drew Lugbauer. He flew out in his last at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Hit out towards second. And that is through into center field for a one out single. Now that is. In now, Braden Shoemake. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Fouled off. Ball, but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even at two and two had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one another two two offering in the air down the line and left and that will end up a foul ball the two two one more time we could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Swing and a ball hit in the air to right field, and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. At the plate now, Tyler Nesloni. On the ground near home. In time to first, and there are two away. Digging in, CJ Alexander. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Alexander. Two out, nobody on. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Bottom of the inning now at the plate. Zane Gerwitz. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's the one and one delivery. That's a ball. I got two on the count. Ground ball left side. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now to the now plate, that. Roberto Baldacchi. Roberto Baldacchi. The 2 1. Down the third baseline. He's got it. And they will get. No, he's in there. A very close play at first. Now back. Better fielder. So now to the plate. Bo Way. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. A 
a swing and a miss there, two and two. Grounded back up the middle. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Justin Dean, one for two with a double on his line thus far. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Right fielder giving chase, but this will land untouched. The 2-2. Two -two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on 2-2, two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Payoff pitch one more time. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Ready for another now shot back. now. Alejandro Salazar. He drove in two runs on a double Salazar. in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Two and two the count. Here's the pitch. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. Jeremy Rhodes gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. To the plate now, Steve Hamilton. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Way is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Digging now in back. once again, Get Shea Langoliers. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. He is taken high above the zone. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now that designated hitter, Ryan. Into the box, Ryan Castile. One and two now. This is foul right side. To two balls and two strikes now. Langoliers is off of first with two away. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked the count full to three and two. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Throw on to first in time, one away. Right fielder, four. Now batting, right Brendan there. Sanger. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Grounded to short, reined in. On to first, and there were two down. So digging in now, Connor Justice hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Maddie. Just unlucky with the placement. Fastball called strike. One and two. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to two and two now. Pulls this one in the air out to left. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready once again, Drew Lugbauer, a fly out and a single for him so far. Here's a weekly hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's in there, base hit. Now batter, shortstop, Braden Shoemaker. Standing in now, Braden Shoemaker. Three and one. That's a close pitch right there, but I think he's just nibbling a little bit too much. Out of the pen sometimes, you just have to come in and go right after guys. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there, a little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. And another foul ball. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And that's outside. He lost him ball four. So coming to the plate, Tyler Nesloni. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Hit to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Now batting the third baseman, CJ. Into the box now, CJ Alexander. Nope, no Go offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. This is line to left. Young has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And with only one away, no need to test it as they'll hold now tight at third base. The so the lineup flips over and digging in Justin Dean. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. Two and two. Two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Has to challenge him now. Here's the pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Stepping into the box, Alejandro Salazar. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And I'm sure as he strides to the plate right here, he's certainly got to have a little bit more confidence. But that's not his game. He's got to get back to what makes him successful, put back to baseball, and try and drive something right back up the middle. Ready on one and two. Takes this the other way to right. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. Now that left you. At the plate, Steve Hamilton. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. In there, two and two. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. Liner in there for a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become now loaded back. now with two gone. Shay Langoliers. Stepping in now, Shay Langoliers. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. All even now, two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Bottom of the sixth inning now. Digging in for his second at bat, Kevin Maiton. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. 
kind of similar situation right here. Similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last A.B. He's got to fight to get it now elevated that. just a little bit more. Stepping into the box, Edwin Young hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. One ball and two strikes to count. Hot shot on the ground is short. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. The batter. Settling the in now, Jack Kruger. Jack. He's 0 for 1 after grounding Kruger. out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold yeah, off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. And it's fouled away. Ball three. Three and two now. Zane Gerwitz would be next. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Once again, a three two. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Zane Gerwitz. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Riding in, Ryan Castile. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. That's Trying cool. to shave that outside corner with the fastball, and he missed it. It's three and one now. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. This is in the air out to left field. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Digging in and looking for more, Drew Lugbauer. So far, two for three in this one. Now the one and one pitch. Is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. Now batting. Look up. Braden. To the plate now. Braden Shoemake. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Way is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. Now Striding into the box, Tyler Nesloni. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one two is belted, and take a look at this deep to right center field, and it's gone. Eric Julio comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So now to the plate, C.J. Alexander. Hit back up the middle, scooped up. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Roberto Baldachin, a hit in two tries so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. In there, a base hit. 
So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Center fielder, number three, Bo. Into the box, Bo Way. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. High in the air out towards shallow right. Miss Loney will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting. Digging in, Jordan Zimmerman. He's Jordan. 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Zimmerman. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Brendan Sanger will be next. 3-2 pitch. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. Right fielder. Riding in once again, Brendan Sanger. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. He's fallen behind now, three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Three and two now. And he misses again, nope. ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on now ball. So stepping in, Connor Justice looking to cut into that big deficit they've got in front of them. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. The 2-1 home. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Full count now, three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Another full count pitch home. Hey, this is a heck of a battle right here. Long A-B. You know what? They find themselves still facing the starter. If they would have had some A-Bs like this earlier in the game, I, I think they get into the bullpen by this time. And this is going to plate at least two of those runners as it's down for extra bases. And the second run will score as well. Kurt Hookstra will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season the so far. Into the box now, Kevin Maiton fouled away. Swing and he pops him up. Salazar calls for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Edwin Young. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Second and third, two away. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. He got him. And exhale as he's out of the jam and the inning is over. Ready to begin the eighth, so the batting order turns over now and set to go Justin Dean. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. This one's flared out toward left. Baldo King ranging into the outfield, but he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. 
Now that second base. Alejandro Salazar. Standing in now, Alejandro Salazar. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now that at the plate, Steve Ooh. Hamilton. He singled his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. The 2 1 pitch. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's 2 and 2. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did that. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Jay Langelier. Stepping in now, Shea Langoliers. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Now at the plate, Ryan Castile. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. The set and the 1 1 pitch. In for strike two. One ball, two strikes to count. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Pretty sure there wasn't any ill will behind that pitch, considering he has two strikes on him. Just got away from him, from what I could tell. And he fouls this one off. Here now the 2-2. Swing and a blooper to the right side. And that's going to fall for a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. The first base, number 17, Drew. At the plate, Lugbauer. Drew Lugbauer. Two and one. Down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Ball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Three two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Tough fastball that time, but he hangs with it to stay alive. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. And this pitch misses for ball four. So that's going to move a runner into scoring position now with two away. Daniel Procopio enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Braden Shoemake will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Now the 2-1 pitch. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. Payoff pitch on its way. That's lifted the other way out to left. Jan is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jack Kruger. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. At the plate, Zane Gerwitz. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. And that misses 2 and 1. Popped up. And this is taken in for the second out. 
Into the box now, Roberto Baldacchin. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And this is into the gap for his third hit of the night, and it'll be good for extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. The center fielder, number three, Bo Way. To the plate now, Bo Way. No offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. This is on the ground over to first. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. In now, Tyler Nesloni. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. Yeah, and his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this AB to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Two balls and a strike to count. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. You do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. CJ. Stepping up to the plate, CJ Alexander. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. One one pitch is a curveball that misses ball two. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Now the pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Fouled off. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. This is line to left. And that's a base hit. He's now two for five in this one. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with one away. The center fielder, number five. Into the box, Justin yep. Dean. Oh, and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And not in time as the run scores. And he's in safely at third as a run will score on the play as well. At the plate now, Alejandro Salazar. Swing and a liner. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Standing in now, Steve Hamilton. Called strike two on the cutter, and he's behind in the count now, one and two. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three, and there are two away. Standing in, Shea Langoliers, and looking to improve on a one for five effort so far. And this is popped up near second base. Baldo Keen will put this one away and the side is retired. All set for the bottom of the ninth. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jordan Zimmerman. No hits to this point. Changeup called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Outside in a full count, three and two. Brendan Sanger is on deck. A bouncer up the middle. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. 
the right fielder, number four, Brendan. Into the box now, Brendan Sanger. On the ground to second base, this could be two. To second for one, on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. The batter, number seven. Ready now, Connor Justice. He drove in two runs on a double in his last at-bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last night. Set and the 2-1 and one pitch. He pulls this one into right. That gets down and the inning will continue. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. Jason Creasy will make an appearance here as he is in charge of trying to ring up the final out of the ball game. In now, Edwin Yon. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. And a wide throw, but he keeps his foot on the bag as he lands on his belly. And on a bit of a weird ending, this ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. 14 to 2, the final score in this one. The Mississippi Braves led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Nolan Kingham earns his first win of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.